You heard? So, boom. So now the video is being recorded. I got it on Instagram, got it on Facebook. Now I can take that, that recording and just rip it apart, right? And rip it apart and use it as efficiently as possible. Because here's the thing. When you document, like I, I'm not even creating content anymore. I'm just documenting shit, right? Um, when you document your process on things like this, a year, two years down the line, you never know when that that very video is going to be very relevant, right? There's there's some videos that go viral, and those videos were old as hell. I was I was able to land a coaching client, like I was able to get a client um, from a video I did three years ago. So I want you to keep this in mind. Just because it's old to you is brand new to a person that never seen it before. Let me repeat that. Just because it's old to you, just because you have created something months ago, weeks ago, years ago, and you've seen it before, it is brand spanking new to someone that never saw it before. Okay. Your 30% is another person's 100%. So you, to you, you may be operating at a 30% efficiency, right? But to someone that doesn't have that knowledge like you have, you're running at 100 or if not 1,000%. So keep that in mind. So I wanted to make this video because um, I, I've gotten a couple of comments. I actually had wind up blocking these people off of my, off of my feed because they had what I like to call the scarcity mindset and people that have scarcity mindset can be very poisonous. Right. So, um, this person sent me a, a message, a DM, and it was like, Hey, like you're giving out so much of this information, you're making it harder for, uh, notaries like myself to get more business. And I said, I said, what? I was like, you do understand there's no way you can possibly, uh, notarize every single document that circulates in the United States in one day, right? Like it's impossible. There's too many documents floating around and then you're only commissioned in one state anyway, unless you have an agency and you're efficiently marketing in all of these agencies, there's no way that you're going to be able to corner the market like that, like it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. And I've I completely wasted too much time with this person. They was like, yeah, I get what you're saying, but you're telling people how to market their business. Yeah, that's right. Because I want them to eat. Uh, you're telling people how to close more deals. Yeah, that's right. Because I want them to eat. I want them to live, you know, uh, and you're doing all of this stuff and notaries like me that been in the game for so long, we we're just getting by and i was like who fault is that i said let me ask you a question did you buy my book rise to the smart notary i like lay down a blueprint for you to make hella bread in this business no i didn't get your book well did you sign up for anybody's online course mine andre hatchets anybody's online course did you get any coaching on how to take your business to that next level no nah, i don't get the fuck off my shit, dude. Dude, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, don't point fingers at the person that is investing in themselves or actually uh, succeeding because they're investing in themselves. That is absolutely ludicrous. So I employ you guys, man, like you don't have to get my program. I don't care to be honest. Um, Get, but get somebody's program. If you do not like the situation that you're in, if you feel like you're not getting enough leads, if you feel like you need help in closing more deals, seek someone that has skin in the game. I can't, I, I say this almost in every other video. Seek people that have skin in the game that can actually help you take your business to the next level. I, I'll give you an example, right? My Rise of the Smart Notary book, my calculator here. 
we're and by the way, my my team, you guys are really about the hear about Rise of the Smart Notary. Me and my team, we're about to roll out a very aggressive uh, stealth plan right now. We're in the process of putting this together. Next month, we're going bonkers. But let me let me share something with you. My book costs twenty dollars, right? Twenty bucks. If that book allowed allowed you to close one deal, and that deal was for a hundred dollars, that book paid for itself. You would look. Okay, let let let's let's really make it a little more finite. Let's say you get 10 deals a month. I'm I'm just throwing hypothetical numbers out there, right? You get 10 deals a month and you're charging $50 per deal, right? That's 500 bucks, right? You're making $500. You spend $20 on Rise of the Smart Notary book. That book allowed you to bump up your price in a very smooth way without without losing any clients you still get the same amount of clients per month right you still get 10 clients but instead of sell, selling them for fifty dollars you sell it for seventy five dollars that's 750 bucks a small increase of just 25 dollars more a month right you just made yourself an additional 250 dollars but if you are not willing to invest the smallest things in life and really approach it with greatness, the greatness that you already have in, inside you, like I'm gonna give it everything that I got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest my time into it. If you don't have that mentality that nobody can't help you. No one, no one's gonna be able to help you. It doesn't matter if, Jesus sat right next to you and say, hey, look, I want you to do this, 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 this. Your, 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 your frame of mind of thinking will not allow you to have that conviction to actually execute. You're going to start looking for, well, why should I do it like that, Jesus? I don't think it's going to work, Jesus. I think, I think it's old. It's outdated. I don't think people are going to spend that type of money, Jesus. You're telling me to do this. I don't believe it. Like, how do you know? Like, what do you, your, your whole approach is going to be so distraught. So money, money is the easiest thing that you can make on this planet. You can go to Dunkin' Donuts, get a job today and, and make money. So making money is not the problem. It is creating value in your own life, right? It's creating a, a, a life of substance. It's freeing up a time like okay money allows me to spend more time with the family than i was when i was working 70 hours a week driving an 18 wheeler truck 70 hours a week ladies and gentlemen i was putting that in i was putting in more hours per week than people did in two weeks so that's why i always shout out my truck drivers out there i know what you guys go through that shit, that shit is no joke. That shit is no joke. I personally, I had to get out of it, man. I was losing my mind in that career. I was literally losing my mind in that career and I had to get out. And thank goodness, Andre Hatchett rolled out his program. What if I said Andre Hatchett doesn't know what he's doing? What is, what's a notary? Uh, this course doesn't work. He's full of crap. What if I said that? What if my whole approach was that I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today. I'll probably be, uh, I'll be an entrepreneur for sure because I wouldn't, I would literally have to be buried and dumped into the ground six feet under or cremated before I die and not be a full-time entrepreneur. There's no way, like that was, that is my lifelong goal. And now my goal now that is have I have achieved that goal, is now the time to take it to a whole nother level. And I'm glad that you guys are rocking with me to do this. So keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. 
be efficient, be as efficient as possible. It is hard to fail when your actions are efficient. Do not have a scarcity mindset. Look at life in abundance. Look at life in abundance. Like there's more than enough for everybody. More than enough. Like there's no shortage. I'm telling you, it triggers the mindset to do something complete. You see the world differently. That's like saying, I, I, got, I better hurry up and run to McDonald's before they run out of Big Macs. Have you ever said that to yourself? Have you ever said, I better run to Jamba Juice because they're going to run out of, you know, Caribbean passion? Or I better run to Walmart because um, they're going to run out of milk. Like, have you ever, ever, because you know there is an abundance of that product. What if you took that same mindset, the same way you would think there is an abundance of milk? Like I could go to any Walmart, any grocery store, any Target, anywhere on the planet and get a gallon of milk. What if you had that mindset and say, I can do that with anything and everything? Your whole mindset changes. The way you view life will change. And you will approach things not on a desperate level, not on a like, like, there's not enough like, oh my God, in order for me to win, somebody has to lose. I have to kill some, you know, someone's situation in order to help my situation goes up. No, that's like looking at the stock market and say, there's not enough stocks for everybody. Like, view the world in abundance and I guarantee you your world will change overnight. Peace, love and happiness and cash flow. I wish you guys the very best you heard.